All right, so we should be done. So let's go ahead and start with Hayana. How are you feeling this week? Hey, I'm feeling good. I take a rest at home. <laughs> that sounds good. You have uh, somebody with you right there. Ah, the baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm glad you got some rest this week, Hayana. Yes. What about, what about you, Jay? How are you feeling this week? My week is going good, and uh, new thing is I'm doing some writing part, which is quite like difficult for me because you know, like mostly I spend time in lab. But writing mm -hmm. is like a little bit time-consuming thing, so I'm yeah. working on it. I got you. Thank you. What when is, when is your deadline, Jen? As soon as possible. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. I got you. Well, I hope you can take breaks at least. Um, thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Dad, good to see you. How are you feeling this week? Uh, hello. Uh, few weeks. Last few weeks. And until now, I'm uh, still sick. Yeah, I'll flu. Maybe it's the uh, will recover soon. Mm -hmm. I hope so. And now I, I can have uh, a little bit cough, yeah. No, I hope you get the feeling better, my friend. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Dan. I say, Danielle, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you feeling this week? Hey, I'm I'm good, <laughs> and I today I may go to the college and stay out in clinic. Now I'm home, but uh, in weekend, I I had sinusitis, mm. and I'm stay bad, but I'm okay now. I'm glad, I'm glad you feel better, Danielle. It's good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. What about Liza and her family? How are you feeling this week? Mm. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Who said? No, no. You're right, Liza. You're good. I'm sorry. Hello, everybody. Uh, this week, good. I'm doing my stuff slowly, but so I'm in process. But today I'm a little bit cold. Uh, I have a, what is it, throw egg? Oh. Here. I don't know what I have. Strep throw. Huh? Strep throw. Strep throw. Oh, no. Okay. Yes. Uh, Everything is good. Kids is okay. School, <laughs> back to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's so that's fine. Everything is good. It's okay. what, fine. What about the cleaning, Liza? Oh, I don't like it, but I have to do. So <laughs> okay. I'm doing it in process very slowly, but I'm in process. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> yep. What about you, Stefania? How are you feeling this week? Hi, hello. Um, I'm fully good. Yeah. Um, chill and, and relax. That's very good. I'm glad you here. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good, guys. I think we have a smaller class today. Um, I'm going to try something a little different with the slides. So you won't be able to see my mouse, but if it gets to where you need to see it, just tell me and we can change it. But I want to continue talking about the present perfect. Um, some of our slides last week didn't make a lot of sense. So we're going to go over this again just to make sure they make sense. And so this is a refresher. So we are using the present perfect to refer to events in an ongoing time period. And we use the past simple for time periods that are completed. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's just say are, not is. So that example right there, it says, I've traveled a lot this month. So we use the present perfect because it's not over. When you say I've traveled a lot this month, maybe you're going to travel more. You know, it, it's, not, it's not clear that that's completed. So that's when we're using that present perfect. Now, we use the past simple when we know that it's, it's over. So 
So I went to Paris in February. That tells us that the time period has finished. So we went in February. If we say I've traveled a lot this month, you could still travel. But when we say I went in February, we know that that period is over. So these are some more examples here. Um, I'm going to get three, three people to read this. Uh, hi, Anna, can you read the first example? Yes, I haven't had a lot to eat this afternoon. Okay, yeah. And we use the present perfect there because it's not, it's not finished. She may, she may eat more this afternoon. Uh, we're just not sure yet. Uh, what about uh, Dad? Can you read the second example for me? Yeah, I've had a lot of work today. I've had a lot of work today. And we use the present perfect there because you might have more. <laughs> you know, we're not yeah. sure if it's done yet. Yeah, just like Jay. Right. Like Jay has a lot of work. So he's he's always using the present perfect. And today in our finished as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe evening time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we continue to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. Okay. Well, let me Thank get you. uh Stefania, can you read that third example for me? Mm, my sister called me last night. Yeah, that's good. And so we do use the past simple there because that event is over. We know that that happened last night. So we use uh, the past simple on that one. So let's go ahead and practice more of these just so we can really feel this. So you see the example. It says, I'm flying to New York again tomorrow. I have been there five times this year. So that is going to be the past because we've already been there five times this year. So let's look at, oh, we got more people coming in. Let's look at number one and let me see. Jay, can you do number one for me? Alvita is very happy. Mm -hmm. See, she has been she so won that, the prize for the mm -hmm. best chocolate cake yesterday. Yeah, very good, very good. So that is going to be the past simple because we know that happened yesterday. That's not ongoing anymore. So she, so she won, won the, the yeah. Okay. So you got that right. Yeah, she won the prize for best chocolate cake yesterday. So let's do number two, and I'll give you a hint. Number two is going to be present perfect. So let me see if I, Danielle, can you do number two for me? Yeah. Mm. Uh, this is a great party. Uh, I meet a lot of really fun and Terrence people. People. Yeah, that's good. And what would be the present perfect for that, though? Um, I haven't been. Yeah, close. So it would be I have met. I have met. Okay. Yeah, I've met lots of really fun and interesting people. And this party, maybe you'll meet more. Go ahead, Jane. If we say like, uh, this is a great party and I I have had, meet a lot of really fun and interesting people, w would it be wrong or, or it's like a not correct uh, one like this? Yeah, I, well, I think you had three words there. Here, say what, what you said again. So this is a great party and I have I have had meet a lot of really fun and interesting people. Yeah, so yeah, you wouldn't say, so I have had meet. That's mm -hmm. too, too many words on that one. Okay, so okay. You could say, you could say, I have met lots of really fun and interesting people. Or you could also make it present continuous. You could say, I am meeting lots of really fun and interesting people. Or if it is like, I had meat, that would be okay? Oh, no, you couldn't say I had meat because I had is the past simple. And then 
when you say meet, that's what's called the infinitive. So that's the base form. Okay. So remember, if we use if we use the present perfect, we have to make the next one the past simple. So it mm -hmm. would be I have met is how you would do the present perfect in this one. Okay, thank you. Because you would use the past simple of meet, which is met, and then you'll use that have. That's your present verb there. But yeah, let's let's continue to do examples here. For so for number three, let me get now, Liza, are you focused or are you driving? <laughs> yes, I'm waiting for my daughter. Yes. So okay. Mar can I read? I'm sorry. Shh, don't scream, please. Mm -hmm. Mar Martha looks happy. She she has been she has been to the movies with Miles like that. Has been. Has been. Well, yeah. So we could say she has been to the movie with Miles. So we can also say she, you can also say she is at the movies with Miles. Because <laughs> since she looks happy, you know, this is going on right now. Can you repeat one more time? Yeah. So you can say she is at the movie uh, with Miles. Because so this is the present continuous. Or she, yeah, and like you said, she has been to the movies with Miles. Now that has been is going to be the right way. But, you know, sometimes these examples, I tell you what the paper says, but in reality, in reality, that means she's at the movie right now with Miles, you know, and, and it could continue. You really never know. Let's see. Let's see if number four is a better example. I can't drive. She has fallen. Okay. Yeah. No, number four is a better example. So let's, uh, Maria, are you driving too? Or Ollie? No. Okay. Uh, hi, number four for us. Sure. Um, Mary, Mary can drive. She has fallen mm -hmm. and had broken her arm last week. Wow. Yeah. So that, that would be. Broke her thing. arm. Yeah. So, and what, what would the fall be? Because remember, this happened uh, last week. So it's already done. Okay. So mm -hmm. she fall and she broke. Yeah, so it would, be, it would be she fell and broke her arm last week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because remember, and this is the big thing. So remember, we, we use the past simple if it's already done, if it's no longer happening. And we use the present perfect if it could still be happening right now. Uh, go ahead, Hayana. What about break? Uh, so yeah, it would be the, it would be the past simple. So it would be broke. Broke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she fell and broke her arm last week. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So let's see. So let me see if we get. Hopefully, we can get. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Ali. Um, question. Uh, but mm -hmm. her arm is still broken. Uh, yeah, her her arm is still broken. That is right. That that is continuing. But in, in terms of the sentence, since this happened okay. last week, that's what we're talking about. The sentence. Okay. 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 Thank you. And you know, I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna share some more examples, some good ones with this, just so we can. Well, here's some more things we can do. Okay, we got a good uh, reading activity. So let's let's read this little news article and then we can answer the questions about it. So we'll read it with each paragraph. So Stefania, can you read the first paragraph for me? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Sarah Jackson is a tennis player from the USA. She has won five tennis championships, but she hasn't played in any competition this year. Okay, very good, very good. Giovanna, can you read the next paragraph? Um, I haven't had a good year. I broke my leg in January and I didn't play tennis for three months. Uh, it was really painful. And it took me a long time to get it well. All right, very good. All right, Dak, can you read the next paragraph for me? 
Yeah. There are four big competitions for tennis players known as the Grand Slams, the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open. Sarah has already missed two of them. Okay. Well, let's see. And uh, hi, Anna. What about the next one? It's difficult for tennis players. You want to do well in the big competitions, but sometimes you can't. All right. And we'll get Ale to do the next one for me. Uh, by the year is the paragraph. Yeah, it starts with the next Grand Slam. Okay. Uh, sorry. It's okay. The next Grand Slam of is Wimbledon, but Sarah isn't going to play this year. It is sad, but I'm just not ready for Wimbledon at the moment. Okay, Sven. All right, and Jay, let's read that last one for me. Uh, from where I have to start? I'm sorry. I missed it. <laughs> okay, start with uh, but the year. Oh, but the year hasn't been all bad. I don't usually go on vacation. She told us, but in March, I went to the caravan. I had really good time and relaxed. I also ate some great food and I went swimming. Okay. Yeah, so we can see this tennis star. She's had a difficult year because um, she just hasn't played this year. You know, she's broken her leg and she's having some trouble recovering from this. So let's look at these questions and we'll answer these with the present perfect. So the first one says, how many tennis championships has Sarah won? And you can say she has won five tennis championships. And we say she has won five because maybe she could win more. That's not done yet. So let's start with number one. And we can get, let's get Stefania for number one. So what hasn't Sarah done this year? And she don't play tennis. Yeah, what do you say? She hasn't played tennis. She hasn't played tennis. Yes. Oh yeah, and saying so, that that's pretty easy. That's a pretty easy way to answer. She hasn't played tennis this year. Okay. Okay. So what? Uh, what about Lizette? Tell me, what did Sarah do in January? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't focus on that because I drove. I drove the car. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe, maybe Danielle can help her. Danielle, what did Sarah do in January? Um, Sarah, she broke leg in January. Yeah, she broke her leg. Okay, and that's that's something that happened in January. So she's not continuing to break her leg. She broke it in January. So let's let, let's look for this the next one now. Uh, what about Ali? Can you do number three for me? How long didn't she play tennis for? Um, I'm looking for it. I'm searching, <laughs> searching. It's okay. You take your time. Okay, again, the question. I'm sorry. I'm lost. It's okay. Number three, it says, how long didn't she play tennis for? Um, let me see. It's difficult. Blah blah. There are four big tournaments. I have my idea. I broke my leg. Sorry. <laughs> Between the thing that I can read because of the what? sun. So, that's okay. Here, here. I, th I think Stefania wanted to help you. Stefania, how many? How Thank long? Thank you. Was it? <laughs> um, uh, Sarah the she hasn't played tennis for three months yeah she hasn't played for three months okay it's in that second paragraph ali <laughs> it's okay that's okay so let's uh let me ask 
uh, Dat, how many Grand Slams has Sarah missed this year? Yeah, she uh, she has missed she has missed two Grand Slams this year. Yeah, so she has missed two, but the yes. the the article tells us there's four. So hopefully she can go more. That's why that's not done. And then number five, let's let me get Jay. What did Sarah do in March this year? Uh, in March, she will be uh, she will be going for Caribbean. No, yeah, well, say, well, she went to the Caribbean. So then that's oh, something okay. that's already done, yeah, because she went there. So let me let's get to the next one. That that one was kind of hard to read. So let's look at this word that we just heard yet. So when we use the word yet, it means until now so yet shows that you have an intention to do something we use already when something has happened possibly sooner than expected so let's look at these examples uh stefania can you read the first two sentences for me have you ordered the the package no mm -hmm. i haven't ordered them yet yeah very good stefania so we we'll see that what that means is you haven't ordered them, but you will order them later. That's what yet means there. And let me get Lyazette. Can you read the next two sentences? Yes, I am. I can. I'll order the packages now. It, it's fine. I have already ordered them. All right. Yes? Yeah. So yeah, so very good. So already means that it's already been done or it's been done. So we've ordered the packages before the other person expected it. So maybe Lyazette was telling that to her husband and he said, no, it's fine. I've already ordered them. That's when you use already in that sentence. So let, let's read some more sentences with this. Now, Giovanna, can you read the first sentence for me? She has already visited that museum twice this month okay good yeah so she's visited twice okay all right and let me get lena can you read that next sentence for me maybe hi anna can you read the next sentence is the second or third yeah, the second one they have a they haven't made a decision yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that means they're they're going to make a decision soon, but they haven't made it yet or right now. And so, Danielle, can you read the third sentence for me? Yeah. Have you already submitted your application for the job? Yeah. So maybe maybe Danielle knows that some of her friend is applying, and she's wondering if it's been submitted yet. So that would be when we can use already there. So let, let's get some practice with these. So we're going to match these questions with the correct answer. And we see the first example. It says, when is Phil going to get here? And the, the answer is, he's already arrived. So Phil's already here. So let's look at number one. Now, Giovanna, can you do number one for me? Am I too late to play football? Um, okay. Which do you think it would be the response to that? Uh, okay. I've already done it. Uh, no. Think, no, the game hasn't started yet. I think like that, no? What yeah, that would be it. So am oh, I too okay. late to play football? You would say, no, the game hasn't started yet. So he's not too late. All right, well, Eliza, I want you to do number two for us. Uh, has Amy learned how to how to drive yet? Has Amy learned how to drive yet? Uh, yes, yes. I oh no, I don't. <laughs> no, not yet. Maybe I think this is much uh, same. That's right. Yeah, it's just no, not yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, Liza. 
All right, Jay, did you want to do number three? Yes. Uh, can you send an email to Rachel? Yeah, Rachel. 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 It's okay. I have already done it. Okay. Yeah, I think that actually, yeah, I've already done it. Okay. Very good on that one. And let's see, Lena, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, Lena, can you do number four for me? Okay. I read. Have you have you watched this movie? Mm -hmm. um, no, no, yes. Uh, no, yes. I have already seen it. Yeah, very good, Lena. So yes, I've already seen it. But you know, you could say no, not yet, too. But you're right. The right the right one there was yes, I've already seen it. So we've got that one, guys. I think you've got a good hang of this. So this says to read and write. So let's look at this to-do list. We see this is somebody's chores <laughs> that we talked about last week. And let's answer these questions based on this list. So the example says, has Santiago fed the cat yet? Yes, he's already fed the cat. So we see there's a line through feed the cat. We can see, has he put out the garbage yet? No, he hasn't put out the garbage yet. So that's why the line is not through that. So let's start with number one, Stefania. Has he cleaned the kitchen yet? Yes, she has cleaned the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So he has cleaned the kitchen because there's a line through that. So he has yes. done that. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty good. All right, Jay, number two, uh, has he bought the milk and bread yet? Uh, yes. Uh, he bought the milk and bread because already it is strike out. Yeah, that's it. That's right. That's right. All right, Lizette, I can see you uh, wording these. Uh, has he taken the dog for a walk yet? Uh, has he taken the dog a walk yet? No. No, he hasn't. That's he right. hasn't. Mm -hmm. Just he hasn't, or he hasn't taken the dog or uh, well, we can say both here. We just want I want to make sure you're saying he hasn't yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just to make sure we're still using those verb, okay. And Ali, can you see? You can't, okay. <laughs> what is number four? Has he made the birthday cake yet? No, he hasn't made the cake yet. Yeah, he hasn't made it yet. Okay, because it's not marked out. Okay, so then, go ahead, Ali. Um, if you ask me with yet, can I answer with already? Yeah. Okay. If I said, okay. if I said, uh, Ali, has he made the birthday cake yet? You could say, yes, he already made it. Okay. That would be how you would answer it that, yeah. Okay. So, oh, oh there's two more here, two more here. Let's see here, uh, Dad, what about number five? Has he mailed the letter yet? Yes, he has mailed the letter. Yep, he has mailed the letter. Okay, very good. All right, let's get let's get uh, Giovanna number six. Has he called his grandmother yet? Mm, no, he hasn't. He uh, called grandma, grandmother. Yeah, grandma. yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Very good. Okay. So yeah, so that was a good little, a little more recap of that uh, present. Uh, usage there. We talked about yet and already. We continue the routines and chores. And we talked about the recent past. 
So let's go ahead and go to the next chapter, which is eating out. I think a lot of people like to do this. So we know in English, when we say eating out, it means having a meal outside of your home, uh, usually at a restaurant. Uh, meals in general usually have three courses and then some restaurants require reservations before attending very fancy restaurants. So this is just an easy little dialogue. Let's get a Danielle. Can you read the first two sentences? Yeah. Have you made a reservation? Yeah, read the next one too. Okay. Yes, we have. Yeah, so that's very easy sentences. Have you made a reservation? Yes, we have. Uh, these are things that you'll hear at a restaurant. So, uh, Lena, can you read the next two sentences? Would you like to see the new menu? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. So maybe you just got to the restaurant and you're asking uh, these questions. So let, let's read a couple more examples. Hi, Anna. Can you read the next two sentences? Sure. Are you ready to order? Then I read an odd one. Yeah, read the next one too. Could you have a few more minutes? Yeah, and we say, could we have a few more minutes when, you know, maybe you're not ready to order yet. So this is all things that I think people know, but you know, let me actually hi and I read that third sentence too. So now you've had a couple of minutes and now you're ready to order. Uh for this is this is third. Mm -hmm. For my main course, I'd like to see wait a minute. For my main course, I'd like to fish. And for dessert, I have to I have the apple pie. Okay, that's right. Yeah. And remember, sometimes we use the word entree to describe the main course in the meal. And so when we talk about three courses, in this example, we have the main course and we have the dessert. But what do you eat before the main course? Does anybody know that word? Go ahead, Jay. Is it starter? Uh, sometimes we call it starter. What, do you know another word for it? No, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So we uh, usually in most restaurants, we call them appetizers. So okay. that's what you start with. An appetizer is usually a small plate that comes up before. Okay. Is it like I have some meaning or how is it like any technical meaning or scientific meaning? Uh, no, just it's just a, you know, I don't know the origin of the word appetizer. You know, let me look that up for you. And I'll it's find like it. the first plate. Yeah, it, well, that's what it's the first. It's the first thing that you uh, get with a meal. It's like a small plate. But okay. I don't know. I don't know the origin of the word. So I have to look that up. Okay. Do you, do you know the origin, Stefania? Yes, but, but in Spanish. <laughs> oh, in Spanish? Okay. okay. We'll see so we Stefania, can... You, can, you can explain in English. Like, if you know in Spanish, no problem. <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I, I, we'll, we'll share a definition with everybody. <laughs> okay. I think uh, I was hoping they would have that on here, but I guess they don't. So let's, uh, Jay, read the first two sentences for me. How is your meal? It's delicious. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes your server or your waiter will say, how is your meal? And you can tell them it's delicious, we hope. And Stefania, can you read the next two sentences? Excuse me, can we have the check please? please? Of mm -hmm. course, sir. Okay, yeah, so that's at the end of the meal. Uh, you'll get the check or la cuenta and then you'll pay, right? So let's go to here. And so here, oh, here it is. And Jay, you can see that. We have, uh, actually, Jay, can you read the, the top line or the first three? Appetizer. 
entry mm -hmm. desert okay all right hi anna read the next three for me sorry can you read the next three vocabulary words roast bake and i don't know how pronunciation bro bro i don't know grill yeah i know it's broil broil Bro uh, yeah i don't know <laughs> it's okay and so th those are more like ways we cook things. um excuse me i have a question okay go ahead uh what's the difference appet appetizer and entry entry what's the uh, yeah. difference uh so the it's like the appetizer is a small plate of food you order before the meal the big meal okay and an odd one say that for me again uh and entry how to say this is a word oh we say it's a we say entree yeah, entree uh entree. what's the difference uh what it means another food is more food than appetizer yeah yeah so the entree that's usually your main meal it oh. normally has one big like a big piece of meat maybe and maybe two sides ah okay like a broccoli or carrots or something like that okay <laughs> thank yeah, you and, and then the dessert is a sweet thing mm -hmm. got you <laughs> yeah. okay thank you so let's uh and yes and so here here's let, let me get uh What's that, Lena? Can you read those four words for me? The tech, the tech, mm -hmm. the view, reservation, cooking, boil, boil, uh, I don't know, boil, fry. Yeah, fry. Okay, that's another way of cooking. And just, you know, they always give you the UK and US words. Usually in the US, we call the, the check, the thing at the end that where you pay, you pay the check. But some people say the bill too. So it's the check or the bill. You'll hear both. So here are, okay, yeah. So we, we get good speaking practice here. So the first example, it says, for my main course, I'll have the chicken pie. So let's think about what we know about these appetizers, entrees, and desserts, and try to guess which is which. So I'm going to start with you, Stefania. For my appetizer, what would you like? Uh, for my appetizer, I have like the tomato soup. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So a lot of the times we eat like cups of soup for our appetizer because it's a small thing yes okay and what about that what about number two yeah for my entree uh i think i have roast beef and vegetables yeah the big meal roast beef and vegetables for that one okay yeah. all right and giovanna what about number three for my dessert dessert i would love the strawberry cheesecake yeah, the strawberry cheesecake. Okay, good. So we have an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert there. So that was a really good one. Uh, words that you'll see a lot in restaurants here in the U.S. Uh, we talked about phrases, some ways to cook, and ordering in a restaurant. So let's talk about the last little lesson here, Chapter 49, Achievements and Ambitions. So... When we're talking about desires and plans, we use expressions such as I'd like to for desires and I'm going to for definite plans. So here's an example conversation. Have you ever worked abroad? No, but I'd like to work in Europe. So that is a desire. That's something you want to do. Or you could say, no, but I'm going to this fall. So that means you're definitely going to do it. So desire is also another word for want. So desires and wants, that's the same thing. But you use I'm going to when you know that it's going to happen. 
So let's, ooh, three, three good examples here. Hi, Anna, can you read that first sentence for me? Sure. I'm very happy. We're going to visit the Eiffel Tower next year. Yeah, so we say the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. All right, Ali, can you do sentence number two for us? i never been to Asia. Asia? But I want to go. Yeah, close. We would say Asia. Asia. <laughs> Asia, yeah, close. So you got it, though. All right. Uh, hi, Anna. Do you have a question? Yes. Uh, how do you say again the first? Uh, we say Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Okay. Yeah. It's in France. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you probably, I think you know that. Okay. So let me get uh, Danielle. Can you read sentence number three for us? Yeah. You've never seen a, a how I can say? <laughs> it's a, that's a big one. It says giraffe. Giraffe. Mm -hmm. If I've never seen a giraffe, I we would like to go on a safari this year. Okay, good. Uh, Danielle, have you ever seen a giraffe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Danielle, vamos pro zoológico. <laughs> no, I see in Disney. Oh, in the animal kingdom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Place. I like that place. So we got some. We got a good feel for this. So these are. This is another um, a little activity. I like these mashing activities. Uh, Liazette, let's do number one for me. Mm -hmm. Have you been ever? Have you ever been with paragliding? Yeah, paragliding. Paragliding, I don't know what is it, and uh, mm, no, but no, but I want to sailing in the summer. Paragliding is something with the sailing. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like when you're in the ocean and you attach a big rope to a boat, and you're at the other end of the rope with a kite. Once the boat goes, the kite keeps up air, and you get to go. Whoosh. Mm, so I, my answer is correct, but yeah. I I won't go sailing in the summer. Yeah, because paragliding and sailing are both things that you do on the water. So that's right. Okay. I'll post some examples of what that looks like too. All right, and let me ask. Let's get Jay. What should you do number two for us? Mm, have you ever seen Hamlet? Mm hmm. No, uh, I'm just trying it. I, I'm not sure about the meaning. So okay. no, but uh, we are going to go there next week, year. Okay. Yeah, so that one is a little confusing. So Hamlet is a play written by William Shakespeare. Okay. Yeah, so it would be it would be no, but I love Shakespeare and I'd like to see it. Okay. Okay. Has, has anybody heard of William Shakespeare? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we can we'll share some stuff on him too. He he has some very famous uh, English plays, though it's old English. It's very hard to understand. It's a Ro Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet is one. Yeah. Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so let's let me get Stefania. Can you do number three? Have you ever been to Machu Picchu? Mm -hmm. No, but we're going to go there next year. Next year. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. We're going to go there next year. Yes. Okay. And so number four, it says, have you ever been on a boat? Now, what I want to say with this one is you can also say, what we said for number one, no, but I want to go sailing in the summer. Um, okay. Because these are, all things are related to water. But then you could also say, no, but I want to do that next year. There's a lot of different possibilities with these. 
I'm going to share the examples of what these activities are so it makes more sense. But I'll do that in our WhatsApp group so you can see pictures of this. And so this is our only audio part of this lesson. So remember, we're going to listen to this and then we're going to answer these questions in these pictures. So let's listen to this. I'm going to play it in three, two, and one. Radio 99.1 FM. This is Ken Wallace <laughs> on Radio 99.1 FM. And today in the studio, we have Brett Ellis. Hi, Brett. Hi. So, <laughs> Brett is a stuntman. He's been in lots of movies doing dangerous things. Yeah, and I love it. It's fun. Recently, you jumped over some cars on your motorbike. Is that right? Yeah, I've done that a few times. I jumped over five cars last time. And that was for an action movie. That's right. And in my next movie, I'm going to jump out of a helicopter and ski down a mountain. Wow, great. Haven't you done that before? I've jumped out of a helicopter, but not wearing skis. Ah. And in your last, did you climb up a waterfall? That's right. It was Angel Falls in Venezuela, but I've climbed a few waterfalls. It looks really good in an action movie. I like doing it. Yes, really dangerous. Scary. Is there anything you'd really like to do? Hmm. I've done a lot of things, but I haven't ever lived on a desert island. I'd like to live on my own and cook my dinner over a fire on the beach. I've never done that. Well, maybe in your next movie. Or maybe for my next vacation. <laughs> maybe. Well, thanks, Brett, for talking to us today. All right, so that was almost like a little radio interview. So, so let's look at these, uh, not that many scenarios, but so we said number one, they said, have you jumped over cars with a motorcycle? And he said he has done that. So they had a long conversation about these events. So number two, it looks like he's jumping out of a helicopter with skis. Now, do you think he has done that or hasn't done that? Go ahead, Jay. Uh, yes, he has. Oh, no, it's, it said, though, it said he hasn't done that yet because he's going to do that. It, it said that he has jumped out of a helicopter, but not in skis yet. So that was something he was going to do in the future. Yeah, I, 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 I had kind of confused when you're hearing about the helicopter. And mm -hmm. I did not understand. Yeah, and so they had a long conversation. He said, have you jumped out of a helicopter wearing skis? And then he said, I've jumped out of a helicopter, but not wearing skis. But then they said he is going to do that in the future. So not yet. So I'm going to, I'm going to ask Stefania about number two, because they said something about Venezuela. <laughs> uh, has done. He, he has done. He yeah. has done. <laughs> okay. He Have you heard of those waterfalls? Huh? Have you heard of uh, Angel Falls? Yes, but I I can go. <laughs> it's, it's too far of my city. <laughs> okay, oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yes, but okay. it's beautiful. Yeah, well, I need to look up a picture of that too. <laughs> we'll share yeah. all kinds of pictures. All right. And so then the last thing they talked about something that he wanted to do. Oh, Lena, go ahead and answer number three for us. Oh, no, he it said, though, he that was the one thing he wants to do, but he hasn't done yet. 
he hasn't lived on a desert island yet, but he said he wants to. You know, I think what I'll do is I think I'm going to I'll share that audio with you and that picture just so everybody can listen again. But we're, we're kind of running running a little over on time right now. So let's go ahead and go to the next activity. So this talks about things that I've done and things that I want to do. So we use words like never, yet, or really to put an emphasis on what you are saying. So let's let's get students to read these three sentences. Lyazette, can you read the first sentence for me? Uh, I have never visited New York. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, and that means that you're just making it, you're making sure everybody knows that you have never done that. All right. Lena, can you read sentence number two for me? I haven't seen the Florida even glad yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that means Lena, she is going to see it one day. She just hasn't seen it yet. All right, and Ali, what about sentence number three? I really want to, want to climb Mount Fuji. Yeah, so it, we use this a lot in English. I really want to do that. Uh, Ali really wants to go to Japan and climb Mount Fuji. <laughs> I can see it in her eyes, right? But we can also use that uh, in a negative way. You could say, I really don't like that person, or I really don't like coffee. You know. It just means that it's really emphasizing something you really like or really don't like. So more practice with this. Let's let's get one person. Who wants to read this email for me? I can't. Can I? Uh, yeah, go ahead, Danielle. I'll get you to answer the first question, Jay. Go ahead, Danielle. Hi, Joe. I wanted to plan your year so we can can do more things. We've already been surfing in Australia in Hawaii. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's no, Hawaii. Hawaii. Uh, okay, but we haven't surfed in South Africa yet. If we also never see in Leo. So I wanted to go on safari. We've never done that before. Also, I know we we were going to China next year, but this summer I wanted to go to Thailand. I I do really like to ride in an elephant, and I know you haven't done that yet. What do you think, Joe? All right, Danielle, have you ever ridden an elephant? Yeah, in Disney. You rode an elephant. Wow, you did a lot yeah. of things there. It's cool. Kindle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. So Jay, I saw your hand was up. Do number one for me. John has never seen a lion. Yes, it is true. It's true. Yeah. So John said he's never seen a lion, but he so he wants to go on a safari. So what about number two, Hayana? What about number two, Stefania? Okay, okay. Um, the, <laughs> okay. Shoe is, uh, the shoe is um, false. False. Yeah, it says false. It says we've never done that before. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I've got two more hands here. So Stefania, do number three for me. Uh, false. Oh, look at that sentence. Says, it says, I know we're going to China next year. Oh, actually, no, you're right. You're right, Stefania. I'm reading it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're not, yeah, they're going next year, not this year. You're right. Okay. Yes. All right. Laya Z, what about number four? I think Laya Z left her chair. What about you? What about dad? Do number four for me. Yeah. Oh. John wants to go. Yeah, that's true. I don't think they say anything about Japan there. Okay. Yeah. And Island. yeah, let's let me get Ali. Do number five for me. Um I 
false. Yeah, false. He said, yeah, Joe's never, because, you know, John says, I know you haven't done that yet. So, yeah, well, we're doing pretty good with those emails, guys. I need to read it better. Stefania reads it better than me there. So <laughs> we got we got those right, guys. So this, this was kind of a fun lesson. We talked about desires and plans, um, travel and some adventure sports, and then some achievements. So that's my friend. So that's all of our content that we had today. That we, we talked about a lot of good things. Did anybody have any questions about what we talked about today? Ali? Yes. When we speak about a place, um, so we use present perfect plus two and the place. Uh, well, well, yeah, let's, let's say, so you mean when you're going to a place? No, when I've been in a place, because I mean, I can say I've been in, I've been to Machu Picchu or I went to Machu Picchu. Oh, so we, most English speakers would say I've been to Machu Picchu. Okay. Now, we, we would say I went when you say like a time word after that. So I would say okay. I went to Machu Picchu last year. Or gotcha. I went to Machu Picchu last week. If but, not, press But if not, just say, I've been to Machu Picchu. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Does anybody else have any questions? No? I think I already see some faces. But if you guys don't mind, i love to take a picture of our beautiful class so I can share it with everybody who wants to join us. So if you don't mind, share it. And I'm going to take a class picture. I'll take it in three and two and one. Wave to the camera for me, guys. Thank you for coming today. Um, as always, I'm very happy to see everybody. Um, thank you so much for coming today. And always, if you do have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm going to post a lot more examples of appetizers and paragliding and Angel Falls, and all sorts of things in our WhatsApp, so you can see pictures of it. Um, but if you do need me for anything, please let me know, okay? Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I'll see you later. You have a good rest of your day now. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so...